Here's our third example on synthetic division. Here we have a linear binomial, so we're going to use synthetic division. Remember, we set this up with an upside-down division box. Inside this upside-down division box, we write the coefficients of our dividend. In this case, notice I have x to the fourth power, x to the second power. It's written in standard form, but I'm missing some exponents. I don't see my x term or my constant term. So those two terms I have to fill in with zeros. Also, I don't have an x to the third power term. So all of those terms, I'm going to fill them in. So here's my first coefficient, which is a 5. And that coefficient belongs to the x to the fourth power term. x to the third power term is missing here. So I'm going to fill that in with a 0. Okay, That's the coefficient of the x to the third power term. The next power term is the x squared term. Here it is. And the coefficient is a 3. So let's write 3. The next power after x squared should be x. There is no x term, so I'm going to fill that in with a 0. And the constant term is also missing, so I'm also going to fill that in with a 0. The divisor outside this upside down division box we get from this binomial. We take x plus 1, we equal it to 0, and then we solve for x. x is equal to negative 1, and this negative 1 is the number that goes outside that box. Our first step here is to bring down that first coefficient. Just bring it down 5. We take 5 and we multiply it times negative 1 and we get negative 5. Now we add 0 plus negative 5, negative 5. Then we take negative 5 and we multiply times negative 1 and you get a positive 5. Now you add 3 and 5 and you get 8. Take 8 and multiply it times negative 1 and you get negative 8. 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8. Take negative 8 and multiply it times negative 1 and you get a positive 8. And now you add 0 plus 8 and you get 8. So many 8's, right? Now remember this very last number here that we got. We box that off because that's our remainder. Also, the number right next to this remainder, that's your constant term. This one is your x term. This one here is your x squared term. And the one next to it on our last one is our x cubed term. So notice how I go increasing powers of x's. Now I can write the answer to this division connecting these coefficients to their variable terms. So this first one here becomes 5x to the third power. Negative 5 means minus 5x squared. Then I have a positive 8, so that's plus 8x. Then I have a negative 8, that means minus 8, and that's your constant term. Plus our remainder, which is 8 divided by our divisor, which is x plus 1. So this is your quotient and remainder. This is the answer to the division of these two polynomials. That's your answer. If you still don't understand, go back and watch again. Try them on your own and come back to, to see if you get the same answer as we did in the video. I'll see you in class.